Grayston Bakery in Yonkers, New York, produces thousands of pounds of brownies a day. Brownies you might have tasted in Ben & Jerry's ice cream. But what's perhaps more interesting than the sweets made here are the people who make them. The bakery, which was founded by a Buddhist monk in 1982, has an unusual open hiring policy. People walk through the front door, they put their name on the waiting list, and when we have a job available to them, we give it to them, no questions asked. We don't do any reference checks, we don't um, do any interviews, uh, we bring them into an orientation and from that point forward they're giving it an opportunity to work. So essentially we're not concerned with their background at all, we're only concerned with their productivity going forward. No reference or background checks means that Grayston often hires people who had difficulty getting jobs elsewhere. Some had spent time in jail, like Jason Ford, who's worked at the bakery for 11 years and is now a lead operator in the mixing room. It was kind of hard to get a job. I got a record, so a lot of people who were not willing to give you a chance. Grayston was the first of New York State's benefit corporations. Those are for-profit businesses that must deliver profits to shareholders, as well as a public good that's assessed by a third party. All the bakery's profits go to the Grayson Foundation, which provides childcare, housing, and other social services to Yonkers residents and bakery employees. If you want to get a job at Grayston, the waitlist is long. Right now, it takes about six months to get hired. And not everyone keeps the job. Only about 40% of prospective workers make it through the bakery's 10-month apprentice program. The main reason people don't make it is they don't show up on time. It's often challenging when you see someone that you know has great potential, but issues in their life still prevent them from taking the opportunity presented to them and making the most of it. Denise Riviere made it through the program and arrives more than an hour early each day to her job packing and labeling brownies and cookies. She used to work in home health care and said she'd been rejected from other jobs because a heart condition makes it hard for her to do physical tasks like heavy lifting. It gives me a reason to wake up in the morning just to come to work. That's my feeling. It makes me happy. It puts a, put a smile on my face. Another employee, Lamont Dandridge, said he had trouble finding work after being in and out of jail. He said he was on the verge of giving up before he found Grayston, where he now works in the mixing room. This second chance is my first chance, and I'm not letting this go. 